electric vehicles are everywhere these days. Celebrities flaunt them on social media, tech blogs rave about their futuristic features, and everyone seems to jump on the eco-friendly bandwagon. But hold on a minute. What happens when the it factor fades? Recent studies reveal a harsh reality. Some EVs depreciate faster than your phone battery on a cold winter day. Is the electric car craze a bubble waiting to burst? In this video, we will dissect the five silent killers of EV value and show you how to navigate the electric revolution without getting financially fried. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to the channel first. Number five, battery issues. When it comes to EVs, one of the biggest concerns that often comes to mind is the battery. This vital component can account for up to 50% of an EV's value, making it both precious and vulnerable. Over time, the battery gradually loses capacity, leading to degradation that can significantly impact its performance and lifespan. For someone considering buying a used EV, this means facing the inevitable reality of battery replacement down the line. This costly investment could quickly run into tens of thousands of dollars. The issue's crux lies in batteries, essentially a concoction of chemicals that degrade over time due to various factors. While most manufacturers offer warranties ranging from 8 to 10 years for EV batteries, there's no guarantee of when the need for replacement will arise. It's a game of uncertainty, with the looming possibility of unexpected expenses hanging over the heads of used EV buyers. Unlike traditional gasoline-powered cars, assessing the condition of an EV is far from straightforward. With gas cars, you can quickly inspect the engine, check for leaks, examine the suspension, brakes, and bodywork, and rely on service records to gauge maintenance history. But with EVs, the battery is a black box. There's no easy way to assess its health. The battery management system and diagnostic tools offer limited insights, leaving buyers in the dark about the actual state of the battery's health. Moreover, external factors such as temperature fluctuations and charging habits can further accelerate battery degradation, adding another layer of complexity to the equation. Overcharging, rapid charging, and exposure to extreme temperatures can all damage the battery's longevity, exacerbating the uncertainty surrounding its lifespan. As a result, potential buyers are understandably wary of investing in a used EV, knowing they may face hefty battery replacement costs sooner rather than later. The prospect of dropping thousands of dollars for a new battery dampens the appeal of buying a used EV, contributing to its high depreciation rate in the secondary market. Number four, huge discounts. Let's talk about massive discounts that can rock the new electric vehicles, EVs world, and send shockwaves through the used car market. You see, the price tags on new cars greatly impact how much those used ones go for, and the EV scene is no exception. Here's the deal. EVs are becoming more affordable by the year, thanks to some vast discounts being thrown around. As a result, used EVs are taking a beating in the depreciation department. We're talking steep drops in value, sometimes as much as 50% in just three short years. And luxury models? Forget about it. They're getting hit the hardest. Take a peek at some listings for Porsche Taycan models, for example. A 2020 Turbo that initially sold for nearly $180,000 is now going for less than half that price. That's a loss of almost $90,000 in just a couple of years. Ouch. And it's not just Porsches feeling the heat. Across the board, EVs are shedding value as if there's no tomorrow. A Tesla Model S, for instance, can lose up to 55% of its sticker price in just five years. Compare that to gas-powered cars, which typically hold on to about 38% of their value over the same period. Number three, running costs. What about the myth of lower running costs for electric vehicles, EVs? You've probably heard that EVs are supposed to be cheaper to run than their gas-guzzling counterparts, right? Well, it all sounds great. Electricity should be cheaper than gas, EVs don't need those pesky oil changes, and they should be more reliable with fewer moving parts. But reality paints a different picture. Sure, charging your EV at home might save you a few bucks on electricity, but let's face it. Most of us aren't always charging at home. We've got places to go and people to see. Sometimes, we need to juice up on the go. And guess what? Public charging stations aren't exactly giving away electricity for free. If you're in a rush and opt for a fast charge using a DC unit, you might end up shelling out just as much, if not more, than you would for a gas tank. Then there's maintenance. Sure, you won't be spending money on oil changes, but when something goes wrong, be prepared to open up that wallet wide. Repairs for EVs can be a real wallet buster. 
especially concerning bodywork after a fender bender. And good luck finding a mechanic who knows their way around an electric motor. They're a rare breed and don't come cheap. Let's not forget about insurance. Because EVs tend to be pricier to repair and replace, insurance premiums can be sky high. So while you might save a few bucks on oil changes, you'll probably spend more on insurance. Talk about a double whammy. And don't even get me started on tires. EVs are heavy beasts, and all that weight means you'll burn through rubber faster than you can say tire rotation. So prepare to shell out for new tires more frequently than you would for a lighter, gas-powered car. Number two, reliability. Reliability is a noteworthy factor when buying a used car. People want something that's built to last, right? Traditionally, cars from manufacturers like Toyota have been the go-to choice for reliability. But what about EVs? They were supposed to be the new kids on the block, promising high reliability ratings. Turns out, reality had other plans. According to a recent Consumer Reports survey, EVs are causing 80% more problems than their gas-guzzling counterparts. And the biggest headache is often the battery. Charging issues? Check. Rapid loss of capacity? You bet. They say, how many problems can we cram into one battery? Now, you might think that with fewer moving parts, EVs would be a breeze to maintain. But here's the kicker, they're packed with so much tech that even the slightest glitch can leave you stranded. Gone are the days of physical buttons and knobs. EVs are all about touchscreens and fancy infotainment systems. Sounds cool, right? Well, not when your car refuses to start because the touchscreen decided to take a day off. And let's not forget about build quality. Car manufacturers are all about cutting costs these days, and it shows. From wonky body panels to flimsy interior components, they're playing a game of how cheap can we make it? Spoiler alert, it's not great for reliability. Number one, quick worn out. Let's talk about how quickly EVs become outdated. The EV industry is moving at lightning speed. Not in terms of sales, but technology. Just think about it. Models that were cutting edge just a few years ago already look like relics from another era. Every so often, a breakthrough technology hits the scene, usually in the realm of battery tech. Max range and charging speed are constantly being pushed to new limits. But here's the thing, what's considered top of the line today could be old news tomorrow. With car makers constantly pushing the boundaries, it's no wonder that EVs depreciate faster than a melting ice cream cone on a hot day. Imagine buying an EV that's a few years old. Sure, it might seem like a good deal now, but fast forward a couple more years and it could be as outdated as a flip phone at a tech conference. And let's not even get started on those super fancy ultra luxurious EVs that cost an arm, a leg, and maybe even a kidney. They could be worth about as much as a rusty tin can in a few years. Who wants to buy yesterday's news when a shiny new EV with all the bells and whistles hits the market every other day? The sad truth is that the used EV market is practically non-existent, and with new models flooding the scene every year, it will only worsen. So, if you're thinking about buying an EV, you might want to think twice before investing your hard-earned cash in yesterday's technology. After all, nobody wants to be stuck with a dinosaur when the future is just around the corner. Let's sign off, but before that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel first.